Well, our boy Usopp has done it. With the help of Soga King, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss for Ice Shinobi. We have episodes 361 and 362 of our One Piece watches today. Now, in the last two, we got a lot of uh, the fight with Sanji and Absalom. Absalom, of course, as you guys know, like I said, one of my favorite characters, uh, characters of this arc. Yeah, very, very, very great character. And then we got a lot of the fight between Usopp and Perona. Usopp finding out uh, sort of uh, the weakness that she had in terms of leaving her physical body behind. And that's where we left off. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big wood bell and let's hop into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got you figured out. It just took him a little bit longer than it took me. Most of the time, I'm like kind of behind on stuff like that. So I'll give myself credit. <laughs> I'll explain. Mm -hmm. So can she like return to her like physical body really quickly or she's like what is that mask what powers does it hold none none at all <laughs> he's negative he just uh he can think things through sometimes calmly what does she put her like self into a gun oh oh that's kind of cool actually <laughs> what would happen if i just beat your body up right now and just laid into it starts like rapid firing jerk bro what do you mean you threatened to crush his heart oh did he just miss it was like a time thing what do you mean he shot a dud usopp i guess he, there was no way for him to know but how did he miss usopp don't miss that has to be like part of his plan usopp don't miss she just made a giant bomb wait she's gonna blow up yeah this one will literally blow up this entire building i love the concept of both of them like begging each other for timeouts and stuff no no no. he definitely thought something through there's no way he missed and shot a dud i could believe like maybe the dud but i don't know i gotta have more faith in my boy usopp he's given me reason to have more faith in him meanwhile gecko mori is still staring into oblivion as luffy fights his shadow that dude is so cracked out out of his mind it's insane luffy i think it's time brother luffy i think it's time you know it's time your segundo come on baby we all want to see it oh give him third i don't care and listen while you're at it if you got fourth in the back pocket back there i'm ready and willing i'll take fifth uh i won't get greedy sixth maybe how high can we go meanwhile oars he's looking for one sp oh it's his pirate hat that's right dude he's so oars luffy is actually really adorable <laughs> God dang, he is a unit. Fire a salute. Aww. It's such like a wholesome dream. This is like Luffy's true spirit. Just in like its most primal form. Oh, the, like I said though, it's a ticking time bomb as uh, as more of Luffy has lost. Let's go Robin. We actually haven't even checked in with Robin and, and Chopper. I think they're in the same place. That's a strong zombie, bro. Break out of Robin's arms. God dang, that man's cake is like in my face. Oh gosh. He just looks so goofy, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my, you can't do this to me. God. I'm so easy, man. It's insane. They know exactly what they were doing though. Hogbags, look at Chopper's stare. He's gonna pop off. Oh, oh, Chopper's gonna yeah, fight Sanji Quinn? Up. Chopper just looks like a girl. I guess it kind of makes sense, animal v animal. Oh my gosh. Animation just skyrocketed just for Chopper to get beat down. Get up, little guy, come on. Dom, who are you calling dumb reindeer? Bro, Sanji, Sanji Penguin's gonna get cut. Robin's getting thrown around like a ragdoll, man. Dude, Zoro's zombie is just something else. Go, Chopper! Look at the animation, it's fire! Go, 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 go! What do we just spawn a hand, throw it, and catch it with a hand? Yeah, easy clap. Oh, that works too. There's no way it's that easy. Look, you don't even have to pry his mouth open. Throw it through the tooth that's missing. There's no way it's this easy. No, it's going too well. Sanji Penguin. Wait, you're gonna hurt a woman? Yeah! Oh no, it's been too long. It's lost too much of Sanji. It's just like uh, Moria said. Oh, dang. But he's like suplex chopper. 
dude i just realized he has sandals on too oh my gosh dude these angles on on zoro zombie are just not it please stop it cuts between that and robin laying on the ground oh they got kind of clapped i won't even lie it's kind of sad meanwhile oh <laughs> ah luffy oars just destroying wildlife as he roams he's got the right spirit why was I searching for cans? Oh my gosh. Oh no. He's losing more of himself. He's gonna forget. It's not me. Oh, he's gonna say Gecko Moria now. I really do like Gecko Moria's design. I said it was, it's just like, it's so fitting for Thriller Bark. It's perfect. It's that brainwash kicking in. That's why Mori is so chill and laid back. He knows he just gotta wait. He doesn't have to force anything. It'll just happen. Hang in there, Luffy. Oh no. Any episode now, he's literally just gonna start fighting the straw hats for him too. Just like the Zoro zombie and all of them. It didn't take them long at all, but they were also really small bodies. Yeah, he's done. He's like reset, it's over. Ay -ay -ay. What else is Thor Bark gonna throw? You don't want to get blown to smithereens, Usopp? Crazy. Oh, how nice. Kamikaze rap! Oh, wait. Wait, what? Did he absorb it? What shell? Dog, the fact that Skypea shells still have an impact here is amazing. It wasn't a dud! Yes! I knew it! I knew it! I'm not on the money very often, but I have been a lot lately. I said, man, the show makes a very solid point in Usopp not missing. Mm-hmm. Mm, what? Oh, it's one of hers. <laughs> Pure, dude, is it weird that I'm low-key sad Kumasi is, like, gone or purified? Do this face, man. I can't. Usopp and his dials. I feel like like 60% of the purpose of Skypiea was to give Usopp dials for the rest of the story. Impact dial. Gentleman hippopotamus. I remember when they first introduced impact dials and they were like, your arm will literally snap off if you use this. Dude, he looks like a different man. I'm so proud of Usopp. Dang. Is that a cannonball? Oh my gosh. It's, it's like an ultimate. Oh. oh, I was like, that's literally going to kill her. Ew! Ew! It's mental warfare. That is disgusting. That is so gross. And she's all like petite and like clean. Cockroach star. Bro is like torturing her. Dang, Usopp, you cold, brother. Oh! Kumasi gone, bro. He gone. Oh my gosh, the tent on Amber. It's back. Wait, wasn't it one? That's way bigger. Or was it five? Oh my gosh. The last time he used that was goddamn Alabasta against the batter and Miss Merry Christmas. I don't think it was 10. It was not that big. It was like the size of him. Usopp's doing what Usopp does best, baby. It's like him unleashed because she just stuck here and has to like listen to his lies. She can't counterattack right now. He's selling it that he's actually like struggling to lift it. This dude, man, I love Usopp. But it's not going to hurt that much. It's more of like a mental thing. Just like the cannonball. <laughs> she thinks she's going to die. Bro, even as a fake, that looks like it would really hurt though. But I, I think the last one was paper mache. I'm pretty sure. Look at this man. He's come so far. No mercy, Usopp. Put her down. Put her down. No mercy. Boom! Oh! She's popped. And she's falling back. Was it actually just like a balloon or was this paper mache again? Where was he keeping that actually? The last one, it made sense that it folded up. She didn't really question that either though. Is that it? Wait, is she like unconscious? It's a balloon. <laughs> Easy. That's my boy. Who stopped delivering on his fight? He's the best to ever do it. I guess she just knocked out. Oh, she's stuck. So it doesn't even matter. I didn't even think about it like that. Standing ovation for my boy. That's what I like to see, Usopp. All right, well, that seems relatively cleared up. Oh, we're back to Zoro fighting Ryuma. Oh my gosh. Dog, it's throwing us right into it. Zoro! 
Bubble Boy got clapped and we just started. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Maybe Ryuma's a lot more of a force to be reckoned with than I thought. I know he's like a, a talented swordsman in the past life, but Zoro Zoro. The fight is apparently over. Surely not. I was gonna say, yeah, it seemed like Ryuma was kind of struggling against Brook, but it, I guess he was just kind of messing with them. Dude, dude, Zoro. All right, yeah, I I'm gonna need my man to get it together and not embarrass me right now. He needs to make a good impression on Brook and show Brook who's going to be the strongest swordsman in the world. Episode 362, let's get it. Wait, what is that? Translation? Oh, is it like a, like a five minute flashback? I was gonna say, yeah, Zoro got clapped and we didn't even see what happened. <laughs> Shusui. It's not very often the Zoro gets clapped like that, too. And he called his shot. He literally said he would take his sword. <laughs> Might have been like a after your time, old man. So does he have three blades or just two? Because I thought he had two and just like a temporary one, but I guess he never picked up a third because his broken in his lobby. But that's why he said he wants his. So we can have three again. Well, maybe that's kind of be like the example of, or the reasoning behind why Zoro got launched because he doesn't have three. He's not in his element. Oh my gosh. Although one can also argue a true master swordsman is in their element just with one blade. For some reason, Ryuma is more threatening to me than, than Gekko Moria of Warlord. Well, I guess Gekko Moria is more like about controlling ores. He's not as much of a 1v1-er. A draw? They both sliced like the, like opposite walls. Oh my gosh. This guy actually matches Zoro's like power level. Dang. Mm -hmm. Same type of build. They're like a perfect match. Dude, this is the fight I'm hype about, man. They're around the same. This is this is Zoro's next trial. Wouldn't it last even longer though? They're around the same. Come on. Well, we know he already gets thrown to an extent, and we gotta see the return of the like the demon form. What was it called? Oh, but does he need? I, he might need three blades to do it actually. Demon magma bear. Oh, he put his back against the wall. Dude, it's one thrust, but you saw like 20 at the same time. Rashomon! Dude, sword, just like, sword, any sword fight is so badass. They're so clean. Another perfect equalization. Dude, Frankie's still just holding Brook. It's so sweet. Get Brook out of there! He's got to pull everything. I wonder how differently this would go if he had a third blade. How much stronger Zoro is with three compared to two? It is his forte. I would guess like like 20 to 30% stronger. Maybe like 40. Oh, Frankie straight up just blew a hole so they could get out. Yeah, but it hasn't gotten to the point where Zoro's fallen yet. This isn't new OST, I think. Two true master swordsmen. I wish to an extent that Mihawk could be here to see some of this kind of stuff. Because he truly saw like a lot of potential in, in Zoro. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> like, how do they run so smoothly on such a slanted surface? The skill based matchmaking for real. They're too even. That's what I said, bro. It's incredible. Frankie's gonna get a good hard look at, at his uh, his new crewmate, man. He's he's like joined the crew and he, he gets to see all of them in action. I mean, he didn't water seven in his lobby, but this is like the big highlight for Zoro. He didn't really get any anything huge aside from the fight against uh, uh, Kaku. But I don't think Frankie. Yeah, Frankie wasn't even there for that, so he doesn't really know Zoro's extent. They both like uh inaudibly agreed to like pauses what will his not break oh man i hope we get like a flashback or something of this ryuma guy that'd be sick oh he's sheathing was it like too fast for zora to see oh my god dude yo okay so we switched the one just in case it does break i think Oh no! The three base hum, that's Brook's move! Damn! 
He's gonna close it though. He knows too. Oh no. <gasps> oh, and this is when he goes to the fires from Zoro? Oh, wait, what? I mean, Zoro looks like he used like sort of like a flame type attack, but okay, now we're caught up, but it wasn't as dire as I thought. Zoro actually did get a hit in. Yeah, he looks sick with the flames though. Marketa. What? Wait, huh? The flames? Wait, he's actually admitting defeat. <laughs> Frankie's like, what did you say? Wait, I love the way they framed that at the beginning to make you think that Zoro got rolled, but it was the opposite. I thought it was like some power up. Dog, you can't have eye catchers at moments like this. You just can't. Like, uh, I know you have to, but like you can't. Wait, he's giving it to him. Oh, shoot! My boy! Is he like, burning him alive? Because he's a zombie. Oh my gosh. Damn, you respect him. Damn. Oh my God, Brook is a shadow. Oh my gosh. Let's go. He's so happy. So many years ago, he has his whole self. That's so sweet. Of course, through my veins. Although I have no veins. <laughs> Aww. Dang. I didn't think he'd. I thought that would be like a sort of like end of the arc type thing. And Zoro has a third blade now. Survive the Wano Kingdom. Damn. That was sick. That was dope. Holy. He's so proud of himself. Zoro, meanwhile, just fought against like a god, bro. Nah, I won't let. I won't let that decredit Usopp's victory. Oh. Oh no. How did he turn into a, a picture so quickly? Is he just standing behind an empty frame? They would have all just like stomped his head in, bro. Straight up beat him down. We're coming to a sort of a head here with some of the fights ending. <laughs> you, I don't think you're gonna be able to forcibly stop wars, but he'll listen to Gecko now. Yeah, he's going accustomed to it. But from what we've seen, it's already mostly gone. I wonder if it's like slowly gonna lose more and more of Luffy's voice as time goes on. Is that Bojack Horseman? Have you seen how large he is? Oh no. He's coming. Yeah, but he's he's coming back as more of like an actual zombie now. <laughs> Are they going to try to fight him? They're like for our comrades. Oh my gosh, I was joking. Oh my goodness. He's going to step on you, man. This hierarchy you thought existed is, is no longer in existence, man. With ores here. Yeah, go ahead. Take a shot. Dude, he's so large. Charge! <laughs> you guys cannot be serious. Oh my god, he's wiping them all out. Wait, no, because the part, like, Luffy part of him is gone. Ah, uh, he's slowly getting there. He was about to. These guys were on the brink. You are so lucky. Luffy, it's time, Luffy. Technically, he is fighting. It's just a part of him who will let others make me king of the pirates. Take the opposite of Luffy's. Same goal, if very different methods. Well, I guess he has others that help him, but he doesn't want to have to just lean on them. He works together with them. See, Luffy, you've tried hitting it over and over again, and it hasn't worked. He's gone. Where did he go? Wait, is he? Oh, I thought he was, was like inside it for a second. You're not fat. Oh my, the disrespect. I love his little shoes stacked on the railing. He's just vibing. God dang, dude. The highlight of that episode was Zoro versus Ryoma by far. That was a heat fight. That was amazing. It just delivered in terms of the choreography and everything, and it didn't overstay its welcome either. Plus, like I said, the framing they did where they made you think at the very beginning that Zoro got rolled when inherently that was him winning the fight was just sick. It was amazing. I like when the show leads you astray to think one thing and then it, it just like like flips the script on you at the very end. But now Zoro's kind of unleashed. He's he's got three blades. And Brooke has his shadow back.
back, which again, I thought that would be like an end of the arc type thing if it did happen. So now we have Zoro kind of like back in the picture, and especially with three blades, who those three will probably head over to where Chopper and Robin are, where I don't think that would be that tough of a fight if all of them were together. I mean, it's Hogback and the Zoro zombie and Sanji Penguin, which I mean, I feel like Zoro zombie might put up a bit of a fight, but I feel like I feel like Chopper and Robin have to sort of do it themselves. It's like their little highlight, but we just keep getting further and further in this arc and I'm, I'm enjoying every second of it. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Be sure to drop comments as per usual down below of what you think of it thus far. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.